University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Tonight sees the penultimate match in the first round of this competition. Twelve teams are already through to the next stage. Whichever team wins tonight will join them. Four losing teams will go through to the playoffs. And to be guaranteed a place there, 130 is the score to beat. Now, Queen Mary has been a constituent college of the University of London since 1915, but it traces its origins to four historic colleges, one of which, the Queen Mary College in Mile End, began life in 1887 as the People's Palace, an educational, cultural and social resource for EastEnders. After a series of mergers, it adopted the name Queen Mary University of London in 2013, and last year was the first in which it awarded its own degrees. Alumni include Professor Robert Winston, the novelist J.G. Ballard, and the libertine Pete Doherty. In fiction, Conan Doyle's Dr. Watson studied there, with an average age of 24 and representing nearly 15,000 students. Let's meet the Queen Mary team. Hi, my name's Kate Lines. I'm from Nottingham, and I'm studying for an MD in sphincter preservation. Hi, my name's Stephanie Howard-Smith. I'm from Bishop's Dorfman in Hertfordshire, and I'm an English PhD student working on the lapdog in the 18th century. And their captain? Hi, I'm Verity Williams. I'm from Eastbourne, and I'm studying medicine. Hi, I'm Yolanda Lovelady, and I'm studying for a bachelor's in medical genetics. Their opponents represent an institution new to this series, Nuffield College, Oxford, which was founded in 1937 after a donation by the industrialist and founder of Morris Motors, Lord Nuffield. Its intake consists solely of graduates, many of whom reflect its international outlook, and it's one of Oxford's smallest colleges with around 60 fellows and a core student body of around 75. It specialises in the social sciences, particularly economics, politics and sociology, and major programmes of research include British election studies, econometrics and social mobility. Alumni include the Governor of the Bank of England, Mark Carney. Visiting fellows include former BBC economist Stephanie Flanders and the investor and philanthropist George Soros. With an average age of 25, let's meet the Nuffield team. Hello, I'm Spencer Smith. I'm from Holland, Michigan, and I study economics. Hello. My name is Alexander Sayergard murray I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I study politics. And this is their captain. Hello, my name is Matthias Lemus, I friend them. I'm from Oslo, Norway, and I study international relations. I'm Daniel Kaliski. I'm from Cape Town, South Africa, and I'm studying economics. Well, you all know the rules, so let's not waste time reciting them. Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. The name of which US sitcom appears in expressions denoting a one-day domestic cricket trophy from 2007 to 2009, an environmental movement founded in 1969, and a Quaker place of worship? Queen Mary Lines. Friends. Friends is correct, yes. <laughs> the first set of bonuses, Queen Mary, are on fictional farms. Firstly, for five points, in which novel does the narrator Mr Lockwood say that the name of his landlord's farmhouse is, quote, descriptive of the atmospheric tumult to which its station is exposed in stormy weather. At Cold Comfort Farm? No, it's Wuthering Heights, that <sighs> dolt of a narrator. Mr Jones of the Manor Farm had locked the hen houses for the night but was too drunk to remember to shut the pop holes. This is the opening line of which novel of 1945? Animal Farm. Correct. Which fictional character, when he first appears, is living on the Lars Moisture Farm on a desert planet with his uncle Owen and Aunt Beru? Luke Skywalker. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. Quote, I love to see a young girl go out and grab the world by the lapels. Life's a bitch, you've got to go out and kick ass. These are the words of which US literary figure who died? in May 2014. Queen Mary Lovelady. Maya Angelou. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on a number, Queen Mary. In Rugby Union, what is the only position known by a number, not a name? The role of this position includes securing possession at the base of the scrum. Uh, eight. Number eight is correct, yes. 
Factor VIII is lacking in those with classical haemophilia and is one of a series of enzymes present in the blood that controls what process? Clotting. Clotting or coagulation, yes. The G7 became the G8 in 1997 when it was officially joined by which country? After the same country's suspension in 2014, the group reverted to being the G7. Russia? Russia is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Who's being described? From 1947, she worked in Paris on X-ray diffraction technology and later applied this work at King's College London, establishing that DNA is a helicopter... Nafil Kaliski. Rosalind Franklin. Correct, yes. <laughs> so, your first set of bonuses, Nafil, are on precipitation as defined by the Meteorological Office. The three main forms of rainfall are given as frontal, convective and which other form which is produced when moist air lifts as it moves over a mountain range? Yeah, I know. Any, any guesses? Concave, I've got no idea. So you say concave? Concave? No, it's relief or orographic rainfall. Secondly, what alliterative name is given to the phenomenon in which ice crystals are formed at temperatures below minus 30 degrees Celsius and are suspended in the air, creating a sparkling effect when they reflect sunlight? I believe glitter glass is alliterative. Right. Glitter glass, glitter, but I have no idea. Glitter glass? That doesn't... Yeah. Yeah, I know. Glitter glass? No, it's diamond dust. And finally, what is defined as very small droplets of water falling from low-level stratus clouds when the droplets are less than 0.5 millimetres in diameter? Drizzle? Drizzle is correct, yes. <laughs> right, we're going to take a picture round. For your picture starter, you'll see the title of a novel broadly transliterated into the International Phonetic Alphabet for Received Pronunciation. For ten points, simply name the novel. Nuffield Orimus Star Frenden. Treasure Island. Treasure Island is right, yes. <laughs> so your bonuses are three more titles of novels rendered in the IPA for received pronunciation, all of them featured in the BBC's Big Read survey of the British public's best loved novels. Five points for each you can identify. Firstly. Persuasion. 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 By Jane Austen, yes. Secondly... Is, is the J a yeah? I don't know. Ulysses. Ulysses. You, oh, yeah. Ulysses. It's James Joyce's Ulysses. And finally... Um, Something and the Charlie, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It is indeed, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. What six-letter word is this? From the gerundive of a Latin verb meaning to read, it was originally used to mean the story of a saint's life. It is now most commonly... Uh, Nuffield Gard Murray. Legend? Legend is right, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Nuffield, are on contemporary works based on a classical poem. Firstly, winning the 2013 Warwick Prize and praised for its innovation and imagery, Alice Oswald's poem Memorial is a reworking of which ancient epic work? Uh, it was the Iliad and the Odyssey. It's and the Iliad, maybe. Wasn't the Odyssey? Or, or is the Iliad has a funeral at the end. So, should we say the Odyssey or, or, or should we say no, the... No, it's an epic, so I think okay. the Iliad or the Odyssey. OK, should we say the... Odyssey? I would say Iliad, but okay, I'm not sure. Iliad. The Iliad. Homer's Iliad is right. Madeline Miller, secondly, won the Orange Prize in 2012 with her debut novel, The Song of Achilles, telling the story of which character in Homer's Iliad? He was a cousin of Achilles. Uh, was Ajax a cousin of Achilles? No, no, I don't think so. He's, he's like, younger. Mm. Have you seen the movie Troy? He's in the beginning. Oh, he's really? quite young. <laughs> the guy with the spear, is he... Uh, is it Philoctetes? Philoctetes, maybe. Philoctetes. Philoctetes? It could be. Yeah. Philoctetes? No, it's Patroclus. 
And finally, David Malouf's 2009 novel Ransom reworks an episode towards the end of the Iliad when which royal figure goes to Achilles' camp to beg for the return of the corpse of his son Hector? Priam. Priam. Priam's right. Ten points for this. The remains of which king of England lie with those of his queen consort in Westminster Abbey beneath bronze effigies designed by the Italian sculptor Pietro Torgiano? The Venetian ambassador described him as a very great miser, but a man of vast ability in a diary. Queen Mary Howard Smith. Henry VII. Correct. Your bonuses are on the noughties. In which of the years from 2000 to 2009 did the following events happen? Firstly, for five points, the Queen Mother died aged 101, BBC Six Music was launched, and England reached the quarterfinals of the World Cup for the first time since 1990, but were knocked out by Brazil. Two thousand two. Two thousand two. Okay. Two thousand two. Correct. Secondly, Boris Johnson became mayor of London, and London Heathrow Terminal Five opened. Two thousand five. Because I went. It was two thousand eight, I think. Okay. I think. Has he been there that long? I think so. Two thousand and eight. Correct. Yes. And finally, the Gherkin opened in London, Parliament passed the Act banning fox hunting, and England were knocked out of the European Championships by the hosts, Portugal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. 2004. Correct. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this starter question. When followed by net, what five-letter word denotes a mathematical modelling tool for describing information processing systems? The same word, when followed by dish, is a tool used in bacteriology to culture cells. Queen Mary Lines. Petri. Petri is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Queen Mary, are on biochemistry this time. What term denotes organic cofactors that bind temporarily to enzymes? They're often derivatives of a mono- or dinucleotide. Coenzyme. Coenzyme. Correct. Which coenzyme carries acyl groups in fatty acid metabolism and pyruvate oxidation in aerobic respiration? Acetyl CoA. Coenzyme A is correct, yes. Uh, in humans, what specific vitamin is required for coenzyme A synthesis? Isn't it A? Isn't it A? Mm -hmm. A or A? A. No, it's vitamin B5. We're going to take a music round now. If you're a music starter, you're going to hear a piece of popular music. Ten points if you can identify the singer you hear. I like wine is sweet and heady. Now feel Kaliski. Rufus Wainwright. No, Queen Mary, you can hear a little bit more, I think. Like my love. Queen Mary, love lady. Stevie Wonder? No, it's Nina Simone. <laughs> <laughs> so, music bonuses in a moment or two. Ten points at stake for this starter question. The fact that for a long time it has not been understood means nothing. I do not read English. An English book is a blank book to me. This does not mean that the English language does not exist. These words of Pablo Picasso refer to which specific artistic style? Not feel God Murray. Cubism? Cubism is right. So you all fail to identify Nina Simone, but the music bonuses are coming up remorselessly anyway. She was one of the first artists to have an album released on cassette tape. Your music bonuses are three more songs associated with milestones in the development of recording technology. In each case, simply identify the band or the artist you hear. Firstly, this band, and the song you'll hear, is one of the first commercial compact disc albums pressed.
80s, in fact, it's supposed to be 80s, female 80s, I don't know. Cindy Lauper, maybe, she's 80s at least, I don't think so. It doesn't sound like Cindy Lauper, maybe. But do you have anything else? Kate Bush, but this presentation is quite tall. Maybe, it doesn't sound like Kate Bush, but she was like... But if the instrumentation sounds strange to you. Alright, so it's a different band. Kate Bush. Uh, no, it's ABBA, but it's marvellous. You see some of the finest minds in the world deliberating over this. <laughs> Secondly, this artist. The track you'll hear was used in the development of the MP3 format. I am sitting in the morning at the diner on the corner. I am waiting at the counter for the oh, man to nice pour nice the coffee. The and he fills it only halfway. And before I even no argue, he is looking is out the window at somebody there, coming in. She has a song about diners, at least. Right. I thought she was a girl. It is always nice uh, to see you. Susanna Vega? It is Susanna Vega, yes. Finally, this artist, the song you'll hear is from what is held to be the first pop LP on vinyl, of course. A cigarette that bears a lipstick traces An airline ticket to romantic places Mark, what about the guy with white and still my heart has Bing Crosby, could it be Bing? Should we say Bing? Yeah. Bing Crosby. No, it was Frank Sinatra, oh. bad luck. Ten points for this. A bequest of £100,000 in the will of an English mineralogist was the basis for the foundation in 1846 of which institution for education and scientific research? Nuffield Gart Murray. The Royal Society? No. Located in Washington, D.C. You lose five points, too. Queen Mary Howard Smith. The Smithsonian? Correct, yes. <laughs> right, your bonuses this time are on the plays of Bertolt Brecht, Queen Mary. Which of Brecht's plays concludes by appealing to the audience to solve the problems the work poses with an epilogue that ends, ladies and gentlemen, in you we trust, there must be happy endings, must, must, must. Um, the Irresistible Rise of Arturui? No, it was The Good Person of Sichuan. Secondly, later subjected to many anodyne cover versions, The Ballad of Mac the Knife first appeared in which musical collaboration between Brecht and the composer Kurt Weill, based on Gay's The Beggar's Opera? Three-pony opera. Three-pony opera's right. Which Italian astronomer and physicist is the title character of a 1943 stage work by Brecht? Galileo. Correct, well done. Ten points for this. Taking its name from a manufacturing company in New England, the tool known in Britain as an Allen key has a cross-section in the form of which regular polygon? Nuffield Guard Murray. Hexagon. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on people born in the Polish city of Wuch. In each case, name the person from the description. Firstly, a mathematician, poet and humanist Born in 1908, he is perhaps best known for writing and presenting the series The Ascent of Man on BBC Two in the early 70s. Any idea? I wasn't here in the early 70s. Uh, no, I don't know. Yeah, not uh, Sorry, we don't know. That was Jacob Bronowski. Secondly, a pianist who took US citizenship in the 1940s. He's best known for his interpretations of Chopin and several Spanish composers. Rubinstein. Rubinstein is correct. An architect born in 1946. His buildings include the Jewish Museum in Berlin and the Imperial War Museum North in Greater Manchester. It's weird. It's hard. Yeah. It looks like a Frank Gehry building, but I don't think it is. <laughs> but should we? If we don't have anything else? I yeah, if we don't have anything else, does anyone have a better idea? I don't think he was born. It doesn't <laughs> sound Polish, but yeah. yeah. Frank Gehry. No, it's Daniel Lieberskin. Ten points at stake now for a picture starter. You're going to see a painting. Ten points if you can identify the artist. Nuffield Ormelstar Frenden. Uh, Van Gogh. Van Gogh is correct, yes. The factories of Agria, seen from the Cave of Clichy. So, their factory is in uh, the suburban town of Asnières. Your picture bonus is three more paintings of the outskirts of Paris in the late 19th century, illustrating a time of growing industrialization. All are by French artists. There's five points for each artist you can name. Firstly, for five. It's kind of primitivist. Um, yeah. um, Not Edward Manet. 
Maybe. I don't. It's not Rousseau, is it? You know as animals. Yeah, I don't think it's Rousseau. Should we say Manet? I, I mean, well, it's, not, well, it's not Manet. I okay, it's not Manet. Should we say Rousseau then instead? I, I don't really Do you have any other guesses? I have a better guess. Uh, Rousseau. It is Rousseau, oh. secondly. Oh, this could be Sisley. Maybe. It's pointed, isn't it? It could be Surratt, but it could also be Sisley. Mm -hmm. Surratt, Surratt seems... Yeah, because that's the point. That's the point of guy, Surratt, isn't it? Sh he's he's pointless, but I feel like he's more precise. Well, we're seeing it so up close. I guess we could say Surratt. Surratt? Oh, Sur okay. Surratt? Yeah, okay. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, sure. Surratt? Surratt is correct. Okay. Finally, who's this by? This could be... Could it be Monet or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other? Monet is normal. I figured it, but... No, it is not a typical Monet painting, but it's... Mm. Yeah, but, but it looks... Do you have any other sky, guesses? Sky no. looks. Yeah. Any other guesses? The sky looks good, yes. Monet. Monet is correct. That puts you on level penny. <laughs> Ten points for this. Consisting of a mixture of polysaccharides and found in the cell walls of many fruit and vegetables, what substance, when heated with sucrose, forms a gel that's widely used in the production of gel... Queen Mary Williams. Fructose. No, you lose five points in the production of jelly and jam. Now, Field Guard Murray. Pectin? Pectin is correct, yes. <laughs> Furnaces are on the age of exploration. Born 1394, which younger son of John I of Portugal was a sponsor of voyages of discovery and is often cited as a key figure in the early stages of European exploration? I need his name and by name. Henry the Explorer, is it? Is it Henry the Explorer? I think he's called the Explorer. But is it? Yeah, but I think... Oh, the Navigator. The Henry. Navigator. Henry. Is it Henry the Navigator? Okay. Henry the Navigator. Correct. In 1415, Henry was involved in the capture of which Moroccan city? It's now a Spanish exclave on the North African coast, around 30 kilometres south of Gibraltar. M How do you pronounce it again? Medellin? Melilla? M no, Melilla or something. Melilla? Or do you sure. don't know? Go no. Cauta, maybe. OK. Cauta. Uh, that's correct. Caesar, I always call it. Yeah, you're right. In 1445, Dinis Diaz, one of Henry's captains, landed at the westernmost point of Africa. What name did he give to it in reference to its vegetation? Westernmost point of Africa. It's going to be okay. Senegal, Gambia, something, something like, like that. Yeah. Green. We're looking at you, Green don't you? Yeah. Um, Come on, let's have it. I don't know. Green Cave? Green Cave. <laughs> Green cave. No, he well, he did call it that, effectively, but I wanted the, the name he gave it, which was Cabo Verde, or Cape Verde. Oh. Right, ten points for this. Nine provinces, four provinces, and northern sea circuit and main island are direct translations of the names of the major islands of which country? Nuffield Guard Murray. Japan? Japan is correct. These bonuses are on volcanoes, Nuffield College. From the Latin for smoke, what term denotes a vent close to a volcanic cone or in the crater itself through which gaseous products issue? Any volcanic cone? Uh, well, sfumato in Italian, like fumo is smoke, I think. <laughs> so, like, or is that fumicular? No, not fumicular. Oh, but something like. Oh. Come some on, let's have it, please. Maybe? And nominate uh, the guard Murray. Funnel? No, it's Fumarole. Oh. Located mainly in Wyoming, which US national park lies over a supervolcano and contains thousands of fumaroles? Yellowstone. Correct. In which US state is the Valley of 10,000 Smokes, a feature of Katmai National Park? It's noted for the appearance of thousands of fumaroles after a volcanic eruption in 1912. Okay, Utah. Come on, let's have it, please. Okay. Utah. Utah. No, it's Alaska. There are less than three and a half minutes to go, and ten points for this. What is the common name of Vaccinium macrocarpon, one of the few commercially grown fruits native to North America? It's associated with the treatment of urinary tract infections. Queen Mary Williams. Cranberry. Cranberry is correct, yes. Your bonuses are on computer languages, Queen Mary. In each case, I want the full form of the following acronyms or abbreviations. Firstly, for five points, COBOL. Yeah. Don't know. It's common business-orientated language. Secondly, the high-level programming language known as FORTRAN. FORTRAN. 
track. Just guess one. To go from zero one. Oh, four track method. Let's have it, please. Four track method. No, it's formula translating. And finally, the fourth generation programming language, MATLAB. Maths. 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 Yes. Maths laboratory. No, it's matrix laboratory. Right, ten points at stake for this. Famine seems to be the last, the most dreadful resource of nature. Which English economist said this in his 1798 work, an essay on the... Ah. Nuffield Kaliski. Thomas Malthus. Yes, all I needed was Malthus. Robert Malthus. Uh, so you're going to set a bonus here, Snuffield, now on deserts. Which large desert is crossed by several caravan routes and by the Ulaanbaatar to Jinning Railway? Gobi. Must be Gobi. Gobi, that's it. Correct. Over 1,000 miles long, the Canning Stock Route crosses the Gibson Desert and which other, the second largest in Australia, at nearly 285,000 square kilometres? Any Australian desert? Great. I have no idea. Let's have it, please. Do you have any outtakes? Uh, uh, outback. outback. No, it's, <laughs> that's a generic term. It's the Great <laughs> Sandy Desert. Uh, decommissioned in 1985, the historic Route 66 passed through which desert that lies in Southern California and parts of Utah, Nevada and Arizona? Mojave? No. The Mojave. Correct. Ten points for this. When referring to anatomic orientation, what is the opposite of the word distal? Queen Mary Williams. Proximal. Proximal is right. You get a set of bonuses this time. Linked by a Greek prefix, derived in part from the Greek for within, what general term is used in medicine for a tube-like device that can be introduced into the body to examine and treat disorders? Endoscope. Endoscope. Correct. In anthropology, what term denotes marrying within the same clan or group? In botany, it denotes pollination from the same plant. Insect? No, it's not insect. <laughs> <laughs> um... Come on. In... Intermarriage. No, it's endogamy. And finally, the endodermis and the casparian strip are found in which organ of an angiosperm? Um, it's come on, come on, come on. Phloem. Phloem. That's the root. Ten points for this. Elizabeth Lavenza, Justine Moritz and Captain Robert Walton are among the characters of At The Dawn. <laughs> Queen Mary London have 130. Nathalie College Oxford have 165. Well, bad luck, Queen Mary. Uh, you might come back as one of the highest scoring losing teams, but we won't know until we play the last match in this first round stage of the competition. Many congratulations to you, Nuffield. We look forward to seeing you in round two. I hope you can join us next time for the last of the first round matches. But until then, it's goodbye from Queen Mary London. Goodbye. It's goodbye from Nuffield College, Oxford. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>